I'm going to use two accounts, uh, Gmail accounts, for this tutorial. First one is going to be a teacher, Mr. Charlton HHC at gmail.com, and I'm also going to use a student account, which is just my personal one for this tutorial. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I want to set up my class groups in my teacher account. So I want to go onto the drive. And you can see I've already put year 10, 11, 7 and 8 in. So the next logical step is to put a year 9 group in. So click on the add folder. Year 9. And that instantly pops in. Now you can see on all the other year groups as well, if I click on the arrow, I've actually put subfolders inside them, which gives me a little bit more flexibility. And I'm going to show you how to place work in there. So I'm going to add another subfolder in this year 9 one. So I'm actually in inside the year now. And I'm going to add a new folder. I'm just going to call it set1 for the purpose of this tutorial. So we've now got the set1 in there. I'm now going to go back to the student account and as the student I'm going to set up my user area so to speak which is going to be used for the duration of my time at Highfield. So at the moment I've just got some personal stuff here but we're going to make a make belief drive as if it were a student so first thing needs to be is new folder and just to make it easy I'm going to use a school login so let's just pretend I'm in year 8 that would be 16 Charles and Jay and that's made that folder there for me can also add some different subfolders inside this, so let's just do ICT, um, maths, and one more science. Okay, so if I click on that, it can, I can see my subfolders that I've made. Now, what I then need to do is so that the teacher can see my work. I need to make sure I've shared this with my teacher, which is going to be Mr. Charlton, HHC at gmail.com. So if I click on the arrow pointing down, I get some options and we want to go to share. Click on that button there. And it says to add some people at the bottom. Now the email address was Mr. Charlton hhc at gmail.com and I want the teacher to be able to edit the work not just view so the teacher can actually comment and mark the work can edit share and save so let's go and check if now as a teacher I can see that so minimize this now the folder that's been shared originally comes in the shared with me, so if I click on that, I'll see that that folder I've made, 16 Charlton J, is now shared with me. What I want to do to make it easier to to um, remember it is because I've pretended I'm in year eight and I'm in let's just say 8F1, I'm going to drag this folder into there. So now that folders in there, okay. and there are all the subfolders in there. There's no work in there yet, so let's go and do some work back as the student. So minimize this again. Back as uh, the student, and I'm going to do some ICT work. So I'm in my ICT folder. Create um, a documents. It's just basically warning me that it's shared, so I'll create and share. I'm going to do a quick thing, uh, test document. <coughs> this is my super essay. 
blah, blah, blah. And it's automatically saved here. There's no saving whatsoever. There's no losing any work or anything. Everything's saved automatically. Let's just go and check if that's been saved. So I'll close out of here. Back in my IC, back into my root of my folder, back into the ICT folder, and that work is there. I call it test document. Let's just check it's the right one. Open it up, and it is there. Okay. So now I want to see if that's shared properly with the teacher. So let's minimize this. Back to being the teacher. I'm going to the root of 16 Charlton J in ICT and it is there. The work that Joe has done in lesson is there. So let's go and see if it's any good. Right, so it looks like Joe's uh, kind of misread the question a little bit. So I can now give him some feedback. Marking green as always. Um, this is not what I was expecting to do. You need to research the oh. question further. So just a late, basic bit of feedback there. And that's automatically saved. I don't need to do anything. That's saved. So let's close that down. Right, so Joe's done his work. He's, he thinks he's pretty happy with it. Um, but I've given some feedback saying he's not. So I'm now back as Joe again. Click on the documents. And he'll now receive his feedback from the teacher. And he'll now go... So he'll now know what he needs to do. And he knows he's not done a very good job. Obviously, I would have done a bit, a little bit more uh, assessment than that, but just for the purpose of this, bit there quick. Now, it also works the other way. The teacher can actually hand out work to the students. So, for example, if I'm going to be the teacher now, I can actually share documents with a particular class. So, for example, I could in 8F1, I want to make a new folder and call it handout work. Great. And in, I'm inside the handout work folder. I'm going to create a just document. And I'm going to set them some homework in here. So, homework task one. And title is numbers. One, two, minus one, and tough one here. What is ten? Take away two. Not too difficult, hopefully, not anyway. So I'll just take it up a little bit. Again. Okay, so I've now set the task for them. And I want to give it to, or I want to hand it to all members of the class. And at the moment, this handout folder isn't shared. Um, so I need to ensure this is shared with the particular class. Now, at the moment, I need to set up a group to make it easier rather than adding all the emails in one at a time. So I'm going to go back to my emails, where it says Gmail. I can then click down to Contacts. And I'm then going to make a new group. And this group is going to be 8FIT1. Okay. Now, in this group, I've currently got no people in, so I want to add some people in. So I want to add Joe in. Now, rather than me adding everyone in one at once, I could also import from a CSV so I could get the entire class, import the CSV file and click import. But because I've only got one person for the purpose of this, I'm just going to type in Joe So I've now made my class. Obviously it will have 30 in, but I've just got one for this. So back to the teacher, I want to share it with that class, 8F1. So I'll go back to being the teacher. Then want to 
go to my handout folder and I want to go and click on the down arrow I want to share this with them so share and rather than typing them all in I can now just type in the group name I've made so 8 and obviously it comes up first because it's the only group I've got named 8 it's only got one contact in for now like I said and I don't want them to be able to edit this document I just want them to view it I'll explain that in a second so just, just view because we don't want them changing the questions we just want them to answer the questions so we can view so share and save yeah. just click done so now I'm going to go back to the pupil and obviously their handout folder will be in the shared with me folder There it is, wasn't loaded. Um, and I want to make this easier for me because it's IT. I'm just going to drag this folder straight into ICT. And we've now got the folder there. So if I click in there, the homework task that I've just set Joe to do is now available to him. And it would also be available for the rest of the class that I'd placed in that group. I can click on the task. And there are my questions now. I can't actually type anything. I'm trying to type now, I'm trying to click. It won't let me because it's view only. So to answer these questions, we need to file, make a copy, and, and we can just name this. Homework task one. And I'm just gonna put what it says answers. Okay. Done. And I'm going to make sure this is placed, so there's a little folder icon there, I'm going to make sure it's placed in my ICT work folder. So, let's see if I can get these questions right. Um, two, I think. Um, I think the answer here is 134. And I think this one is eight, I believe. What's up? Oh, not this space. Now. Okay, so that's already saved for me. It's done. That's saved. So I've done the work that Mr. Charlton has sent me. So I'm going to go back to the teacher, hand in the work. I'm going to check if my students have done my work. So 8F1 IT is due today, so I'm going to check all the people in 8F1, so there's only one for now, obviously. Click in his folder, Jones. Click in his ICT, but notice it's gone darker because some updated content is there. Now hopefully this should be Joe's answers. So I click into here, and we see that piece of work that Joe did is now available for me to mark. So I can click on that. And here are his answers. So, that is correct. This is way off. Okay, so I can just give him some feedback. So, I'm not going to spend too long. This is the wrong answer. You need to go topic. Just an example answer. But you get the idea. And then write anything else wherever. I can also add comments. So I can insert a comment by using this button here. Um, I can add a comment. Um, good start to the work. And now that is automatically saved as usual. So Joe wants his feedback. So I'm going to go back to be in Joe, and we'll notice that Joe has checked his work and he's been given feedback straight away. He's also been given an overall comment as well. So that's just a basic way of, first of all, as a teacher, being able to 
create folders and subfolders, to create separate classes, to share handouts with an entire class, and to mark it. And it also shows you, as a student, how they can create a folder share it with the teacher and then collaborate by doing the work receiving feedback from the teacher and then working from them changes to try and improve their work so hopefully that's been useful